Oh man, I'm so excited. Welcome back boys, my name is Rob, this is Sarah. Our channel hops around a lot, but lately it's been about boats. Boats, boats, boats! This is a 1981 CB Avenger, and it has a 1986 Mercury XR2 Black Max on the back of it. In this episode, we're going to be splashing this boat for the first time. Sarah finds a hidden rainbow, and then we do a baseline speed run to figure out what this thing is capable of without us touching a thing on it. Let's do it! All right, today's the day. First launch maiden voyage of the Avenger. Do we even call it a maiden voyage? It's more of a test float. <laughs> yeah, we have we have no experience with this thing. It supposedly does 60. We won't this... be doing that today. We'll see. Oh my God, I won't be doing that today. Uh, Sarah was in a bike accident, so she's still a little beat up. I don't think she wants to go too fast, so it looks like she might be sitting on docks for a minute. The outboard on the back of this thing, I did decode the serial number, and it's a 1986 or 1987 Black Max XR2 150. Supposedly the XR2 had like 10 more horsepower than the normal ones. I don't know. It seems like it's the same block as all the other stuff, so who knows? But it does have a stainless prop, and it did sound cool when it idled, but it didn't rev, so we're, we're going to be those annoying people at the boat ramp that put our boat in and then probably have problems. <laughs> but I just, I want to see what happens, so we're going to do it anyway. That's not new to us, so it's fine. Let's just dive in. Yeah, if it floats, good. that's that's step one. In the last video, I showed you guys how to bring the gel coat back to life. It's a little sunnier now, so I'm just going to show you this. It's pretty basic and straightforward, but this thing looked pretty smoked when I bought it, and look at it now. If you want to learn about restoring gel coat, click up here. Pretty shiny, boys. Yeah, I didn't polish everything. I just wanted it to look like more than $500. Well, that's good for the contrast too, right? If some parts aren't as shiny, then the other parts pop. Yeah, and also it'll be easier to find if it sinks because it'll reflect you sonar, yep, yep. you know, a little better. <laughs> we have our temporary seats in there. Yeah, very, very pro. Okay, so prediction time. How do we think this is gonna go? I think it might be one of those things where the more we run it, the better it will run. Because I don't know how long it's been sitting. I know the guy had it out earlier this year, so not like terribly long, but yeah, it was. And then there was that weird beeping in the video, but we don't even know how long that ago that was. Yeah, and I, I realized that's overheating. So thank you to people who told me what that was, but we haven't experienced it yet, so. We're just going for it. Um, I do have a new water pump and a bunch of stuff. At yeah, home. you haven't done. And we should preface this: you haven't done anything to the motor yet, right? No. Okay. I'm just, yeah. I'm just throwing it in the water and seeing what happens because I just want to know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess we got to guess top speed for the baseline today. No, no, there's yep. not going to yeah, be. Yeah, there's speed like an over under oh. winter best of by sushi or something. All right. Well, I'll be on the dock filming your speed run with my broken ribs. That's what I'll do. Possibly, but how fast do you think it'll go? Um, today, 40. <laughs> that was maybe my guess. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go with 42. Okay, we're doing the Price is Right thing. Oh man, I'm so excited. I'm I'm going. I'm up in my I'm up in my bet. I think we're gonna see 45 today. Okay, I'm not gonna be in the boat for that. I'm telling you right now. The the water's like glass. It's beautiful out. Look at how shiny that hull is too. Look at I'm just gonna like film the trees. 
in the reflection of that, that hole. Yep, yep. Well, so far it appears to be floating. That's good. Oh, it looks good too, Sarah. Look at this water. Oh my God. All right, here we go. Uh-oh. Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> and dead. What gives? Mm -hmm. What's going on here? You need to pump the, like, prime the thing for the fuel. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm not used to outboard, so. Come on, dude. <laughs> you started perfectly. Oh, uh, there's smoke coming out of the battery. Ow! You okay? Yeah, that's hot. Yeah. Woo! So, you okay? Oh, that good. Mm. I want you to turn it back off, off and back on again. I want to make sure before I go out in the water with you. I want proof that this will start up again. All right, I'm going to try to start it. All right. Ooh. <laughs> well, we've got several of the steps so far. <laughs> I was trying to smoke you off, but I'm sorry. Beautiful today, though. Look at this. something? I did. You don't cut throttle abruptly. I did think that was abruptly. <laughs> That's crazy. We took out a little water. Yeah, the, the back... yeah your feet a little wet there, huh? Yeah, the, this thing, the, the Coast Guard sticker here says that it can take 150 horsepower and there's 150 horsepower on the back there, so she's, she's low. <laughs>
I was coming. Oh. Hear that, right? Yeah. All right, we are hearing the beeping. Yeah, but it's not. All right, we're gonna turn it off a minute. Oh boy, that's brave. That's brave. Cross your fingers, guys. So I think the beeping was either overheating or it could be something with the oil because it's still got the oil injection. There's like a tube that can suck air. But if it's overheating, it should not beep if we just chill a minute. <laughs> it's interesting that it would have done it then. Well, we've been running it for a while. I guess, yeah. What, I'm, what I thought was odd is I thought the beeping was coming from the outboard itself in the video, you know? You mean in his video? Yeah, but it sounded like it was maybe coming from over there or under here somewhere. I was trying to like stick my head and... Yeah, who knows where the alarm is mounted. I kind of always thought it was the outboard too, but yeah. maybe not. Dirty freaking di outboards, boys. <laughs> well, cheers. This is a... Uh, this is probably the coolest $500 thing I've ever purchased. The floor is like not bad, but there is that soft spot right where you're standing. Yeah, and over there, there's another one, so. I it was back here when you were driving, and I was specifically- Before I tried to um, sink us in the back a little bit. Yeah, so when Sarah was driving, I came back here with a GoPro specifically because I wanted to see if the transom was flexing. So I put the camera right here, I didn't see any flexing, so like I know that there's still technically still a soft spot over that one under. little, yeah, yeah. That one little thuddy spot. So this thing's gonna need a transom at some point, but for now, it's friggin' fine. Yeah. <laughs> it rides all right too. Yeah, pretty. Yeah, it rides better than I expected. Pretty happy. What do you think of the uh, temporary seats? I mean, they work. They're great. They're comfortable. They're... <laughs> we should mount them a little further forward, but yeah. Yeah, because this does not have power steering, which I totally forgot about because um, Danger Zone's got power steering. Does it? I was wondering. Okay. Yeah, yeah never, but this is just cable steering, which is fine. Um, the problem is my seat's really far back. So trying to do cable steering when your arms are literally like this yeah. is like... I, have... and I drove, I, I actually went like cross-legged and leaned forward and was like, <laughs> took two hands, especially with the rim too. That was the other thing. I'm like, eh. Well, I'm very happy with this. This is amazing for $500. Yeah. I, I mean. <laughs> well done. Well done. Cheers. Yeah. I know we didn't need another boat, but for $500, yeah, this is amazing. What do you think of the, what do you think of the sound? Uh, uh, oh, of the motor? It is quieter than, um, but than it was in the driveway. So some people take like a hole saw and they drill out the midsection. No, quieter is good. And it, it sounds really cool, but you pretty much gain no performance from what I've heard. Yeah. So all you do is attract cop attention yeah. and I don't like cop attention, so. Well, and we're used to danger zone with those freaking headers. So like, it's actually kind of nice to be out on the water and not be like, what? <laughs> we could actually talk to each other while driving. It was. That's true. Yeah, you were actually talking to me when you were filming. Normally yeah. we don't do that. Yeah, normally it's just like smack, smack, hand gesture, point, you know. So what's cool is that this motor is exactly what I'm building for the SST, only the SST has 50 more horsepower and it has a high speed gear case, which means it's real pointy and doesn't have much drag. But they're both the uh, black, blackjack, black, what's it called? Keep going, I want to hear more guesses. Oh God, Black. black magic, black, black max. There you go. Yeah. Okay. And it was black something. So, like, if we wanted to, we could pull this power head off and put the 200 on here and swap gear cases because these I'm motors. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The Coast Guard said 150 only. <laughs> it's true, but it wouldn't be any heavier. Like that's what's funny. Mm -hmm. Like, like since these motors are like, like Legos, you can mix and match. That's why it means that when I like cut throttle from even faster, we'll definitely sink. I mean, we're on a boat, man. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Any day on a boat, I guess. Like, that's become our go-to. Your worst day on maybe a boat, we, right? Maybe we bring this one out west, Arizona boat. Yeah, or what's Colorado. The, what's the reservoir just south of there? South of Colorado? Yeah, like it's like an hour south. Um, oh, 
I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. I don't remember the name, but yeah. Okay, super random weird thing that I noticed, um, just based on where I was sitting. But I'm going to start with the, like, look at the color scheme up here. It's red, orange, yellow, red, orange, yellow, right? But if you come back, if you can see it on camera, that the shadow makes it a rainbow, starting red, orange, yellow, and then, going, like, that's just wild. The farther back you get, the more it looks like that. No, it's a blue and gold dress. Okay. Okay, no. <laughs> so we're drifting closer to shore after letting it cool down. <laughs> so and now the, the real test is, does she start again? Let's find out. That's, aww. I was about to say that's my girl, but no, no. That's my girl. There we go. The beeping still. Interesting. So it can't be overheating then. Could it be to do with the oil? Possibly. We're gonna move it away from shore and then look at it again. do what I did before, which was like almost sink us by stopping too quickly, so yeah. You know, like I'm, the, I'm thinking that beeping's full of shit, but that could be famous last words. Yeah, like, <sighs> is, is it possible that it's not... Okay, so you're saying the beeping could be the sensor thinks there isn't oil in the reservoir? Yeah. As opposed to like... This is what the temp says. Actually, let's show that. Okay. So, it does look on the high end, but it's peeing a steady stream of water, so to me that means the water pump is working. And also, we don't even know if these gauges are connected because that fuel this doesn't gauge work. is not This doesn't work. Yeah. This doesn't work. Yeah. So, so, I don't know if I trust that gauge either. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Sarah, okay. give, me, give me the camera. All right. Give me the camera. I have a question for Sarah. Do you think it's about to rain? Oh, <laughs> Um, maybe. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> Will you let me do a top speed run with you in the boat? I don't really have a choice. I'm being bullied. I would like everyone to know that this is under duress. Okay. Do you think, do you, think you will survive? Shut up, Rob. for a little speed run. Oh boy, all right. I'm just gonna set this right here. <laughs> I felt okay, but I definitely saw the temp climbing higher and higher. Yeah, and, and you're like, like okay, okay. <laughs> maybe this cage is working. I'm not gonna burn up the motor on the first trip. We're just gonna kill it. Very smart. But I, I gotta say the $500 boat project has been successful so far, thus far. Verda. <laughs> Thank you.
What do you think, Sarah? Uh, I'm pleasantly surprised. So, uh, what, it's an 881? 81 CB Avenger has the Sarah stamp of approval, <laughs> even without any interior and without a water pump, I think, probably. But Yeah, it started to overheat pretty bad. Yeah. So what do you think, what, what's your favorite part of this boat? It's just adorable. <laughs> I really like the size, actually, and I like how um, it, was, it was zippy, but it didn't feel sketchy, which is not always the case with your boats, Brad, I gotta say. Um, I like, it's actually roomy inside. Again, I know I'm saying that with like absolutely no interior, but I like the, I like sitting in it. <laughs> no, I, I mean, first of all, it started and then it started again after floating around, which is always a plus. <laughs> I like that it didn't take on too much water. I don't know if there's a working bilge pump. So actually, oh, yeah. let's pull the drain plug. That. Pull the drain plug, Sarah. Uh, sure. That's not bad, boys. All right, so some guy who had a CV Avenger, he was like, I don't know why, but they mounted this like three really inches high. too high and yeah. he drilled another one and put one here. Yeah. And I'm thinking that's a pretty smart idea because I have a feeling there's a lot of water still in here. Yeah. Sarah's going to pull the lower unit on this boat and change the water pump, right? Yay. Sure, why not? Okay. <laughs> Overall, are you happy? I am actually, I really like it. <laughs> it's pretty darling. Yeah, I would say that um, Definitely worth 500 bucks. Some girls get jewelry and oh you God. get a boat. It no, works out. I get a boat that I'm apparently replacing a water pump on. That's not so much a gift as um, a, a joint project. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely have adventures. How about that? Much better than diamond earrings. It looks good, dude. Doesn't it? It's really cute. I feel like I'm... I'm I feel like I'm being a, a betrayer of sleek craft fandom, but like, it's really cute. All right, dudes, that's about it for this episode. Thanks for tuning in. I don't know what we're going to get into next with this thing. I guess the Sarah water pump video, but other than that, we're going to probably also wind up doing the floor on this thing. I don't know if we're going to get to that soon because it is remarkably usable right now. <laughs> um, but it's uh... And we have an ever long list of projects. Yeah. Anyway, check it out. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.